What's interesting, Karen, when you look at this, at least geographically, of course, uh, Saudi Arabia connected to Bahrain via a causeway, connected to that eastern area, the oil-producing area of Saudi Arabia, and of course, just a short boat ride away from Bahrain is Iran. So a lot of questions about what these geopolitical tensions could really mean for this country as it seeks to become not just a financial hub, an investment hub for the region, but also really a conduit for international investors who want to do business in Saudi Arabia. Let's listen into what the CEO of the Economic Development Board had to say. Greed usually overcomes fear. Investors do a risk reward uh, analysis and they've always seen the reward, 50 million population just in the Gulf, um, high per capita income, massive investment infrastructure that outweighs the conflicts that they may see around in the, in the region. And we always invite investors, they come to see the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, Bahrain through this conference, they can make their own assessment. Um, so we're not new to conflict and that's not gonna change the dynamics that we see, the potential for growth. And when you look at what's happening a bit more globally here, because you have a lot of interest in the Gulf region from Asia, for example, and Asian countries, particularly China, are much less risk averse than Western investors. What's the interest coming from Asia? Quite a lot. Number one, there's this interest to see how the One Belt, One Road um, and how the Middle East could play a role in that. I think th we've been, the, the, the Gulf and the MENA region was part of the traditional Silk Road. Uh, I think we have to revisit how that is relevant to, uh, to China going forward. But we want to be able to talk to both Chinese and, of course, our traditional allies in the United States and in Europe. And so, uh, but we do see a lot of interest from China. We think the access to Africa um, could be through uh, the GCC and through uh, the MENA or Gulf region. And so I think we've seen tremendous interest from China, and we are open to see how we can collaborate with them. Hey everybody, it's Hadley Gamble from our new CNBC Middle East Bureau in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for stopping by. Now to watch more, you can try one of the videos that just popped up on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe.